So Canada is cold. And when I say cold, I mean freezing, freezing cold. I mean cold to the point where you could potentially put yourself in danger because the weather is so extreme. So in this video, I'm gonna give you seven tips on how you can survive a Canadian winter in 2022. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Number one, check the weather. So this is something you may not think is actually that important. However, in Canada, it truly is. To prepare yourself for the day, you really need to know what weather and what situation you're getting yourself into. For example, if it's a minus 40 degree day out, you need to know that you need to be wrapped extremely warm for those conditions. So checking the weather here is just a must. It's also gonna help you understand or kind of get a rough idea on what the roads could be like in your area. In Saskatchewan, the roads aren't necessarily that great. So I wanna know what those conditions are gonna be like so I can prepare myself before going anywhere sometimes the weather is so bad it's actually quite hard to travel so again having that knowledge and knowing what you're getting yourself into is just so important so this leads me to number two which is wear the appropriate clothing now I know this almost seems pretty obvious however you would be surprised how many people do not wear the appropriate clothing considering the weather conditions especially from people who are new to Canada. You need a good well insulated coat, gloves, a toque for anyone not from Canada that is the same word as a woolly hat that you wear on your head. Some good boots, ideally some that are waterproof and just lots and lots of layers. I'm sure I'm missing something here. So if you are a Canadian or if you have lived in Canada, then feel free to pop a comment down below and say what clothing you'd recommend for the Canadian winters. Number three is know when it is too cold and know when to go inside. Where I live in Saskatchewan, it regularly gets up to minus 40 degrees. And trust me when I say that is not nice. But hey, we've got to deal with it. While you may think you're fine, if you're out for long enough, you are at a genuine risk of hypothermia. And this is no joke. Sometimes you may not even realize how cold you actually are or that you have been out for so long. And I guess in that sense, I would probably say when those weathers are that extreme, I would recommend staying inside when you can. Now, of course, you can't do that all the time, but just being very vigilant about how long you are outside for. Because again, you don't wanna put yourself in any dangerous situations that could be avoided. Number four. So this is for anybody who drives. If you drive, always have an emergency kit in your car. Now by an emergency kit, I mean you need a shovel in case you get stuck in snow and for whatever reason you need to shovel yourself out. I would recommend having at least a coat in there. Again, if you break down, you want to know there's something in there to keep you warm. A blanket, boots if you need them, and even a first aid kit or some snacks that aren't going to freeze too much. Because if for whatever reason you would get stuck in the road or something was to happen, you want to know you have every single chance of being safe, especially when the weathers are very extreme and very cold. I've actually been in a situation before where I've needed my shovel to help me get out of a road because there was so much snow. So these are things which you might not think you necessarily need. However, it's always worth having them in your car just for that just in case scenario because you never know when you're going to need them. So number five, this is something I never thought I would say when I was living in the UK, but that is moisturize. Now in Canada and especially in Saskatchewan where I'm living, the weather is so dry and even though it's cold, it's a dry cold. And that means your skin dries up very, very easily. And the only way to really get around this is by moisturizing. 
My skin has been so dry to the point where it started to bleed, especially on my hands and my knuckles. And that is something I never experienced when I lived in the UK. So a very small thing, but I would highly recommend having moisturizer just so you can avoid those kind of situations for when it is extremely cold. Number six, take up a sport of some kind. Whether that is an outdoor sport, like skiing, curling, or even walking, or if it's something inside, like volleyball, or going to the gym, or swimming, anything like that, just to keep your body moving. When it is so cold, it's really hard to go outside and to exercise. And I found that I just don't have the energy to do anything. However, actually going outside or even doing some exercise inside really, really helps. And again, it's really important just to get that exercise when you can. For me, I found that going for a walk has been really useful, especially in regards to my mental health, because I'm still getting out and I'm still trying to do things, even if it is for a very short period of time. Now, when I'm saying sports, again, do something that's meaningful for you. It doesn't have to be ice hockey. It doesn't have to be skiing. It could be something just like walking inside, something that is going to give you some kind of exercise. However, if you can do that outside, that is great, but you don't have to do whatever is meaningful for you. This leads me to number seven, which is eat healthy. Now, sounds very obvious, right? However, considering how cold it is, sometimes that can be really hard to eat healthy, especially because you're inside all the time and all you want to do is just eat chips or unhealthy food. However, in terms of your health, it's really important to stay healthy as much as possible. When you're inside all the time and it's very dark, it's also very easy to lack vitamin D as well. So it's really important to try and get your vitamin Ds up as well. This isn't to say you need to be healthy all the time and I would be a complete hypocrite if I suggested anything otherwise. And number eight, my final thing of this video is try and embrace the winter as much as you possibly can. It's so easy to hate the winter. However, it's also important to think of those positives and try and enjoy it as much as you can especially in Canada when the summers I think really make up for having a winter that is very extreme. Saskatchewan especially has extreme winters, it's like an extreme summer where it is so hot but then you've got the other end where it is extremely cold as well and getting that balance I think is something that can be quite challenging. However, even though winter can suck, winter does go and summer will come. So in that respect, I would say just try and enjoy it, try and embrace it. It's hard and that is okay as well. It's okay for things to be hard and it's also okay to hate the winter. But if you can, just try and be a little bit positive. So there we have it. There were eight things that shocked me about Canada. If you have recently moved to Canada or if you have been to Canada, what has shocked you the most? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. My name is Jack. If you're new to this channel, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. It is really appreciated. The reason why I started making this YouTube channel is to try and help other people who are going through a similar situation to me. So if there's anything that you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. So with that said, hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.